two so that uh, I take at least a 10 centimeter long piece of lining and silesia a few centimeters wide, placing them right sides together. Essentially, all I do is two machine stitches one centimeter apart. I sew the first line, and when I start the second, I pull out an excess of thread and sandwich it between the two layers so that it's between the two stitches. I back tack on both sides of each stitch just to make it easier to turn inside out. Back tacking when I start the second line and make sure the excess thread I pulled out doesn't get stuck in the second line. Back tacking goes a bit funny here, but whatever. I want to cut off any excess, so the seam allowance should only need to be around 5mm. Where the excess thread is back tacked, I find this works best when I cut the corner of the adjacent side away a very small amount. Then I just pull the excess from the other side to flip the tab through. At this stage I press it flat. I want to fold the edges and press it to size before I trim the raw edges. Basically I want it to be 6 or 7 centimeters in total, so I press it over and trim the edges afterwards so that I have a bit less than 1 centimeter extra, but at least half a centimeter, and snip off the corners. To apply it to the jacket, it needs to be firmly attached to the inside of the collar, so I can sew it on level with the top of the back lining. Folding it in half to give myself a faint crease to place it on the centre back seam so that it's properly centred. I get the second side on better, so I'll just show that one. Either way, knotting the thread and I want to hide it between the jacket and the tab and then I just begin to prick stitch the two together. Proceeding to the second side, making sure the tab isn't taut, but also that there's not a lot of excess between the two sets of stitching either. For some reason the thread just got a little bit stuck here. Much like DTAX and the like, this is a functional load-bearing stitch, so it needs to go all the way through. One could also use their sewing machine to sew a small square instead of prick stitching it down. Otherwise, I think it really needs to be hand silk to sew it down, just for the added strength. And I will baste it in place in the future just to make it a little easier, even if it's something of an unnecessary extra step. This needs to be fairly a fairly dense stitch, since each side needs to be able to hold the weight of the jacket, phone, AirPods, Comfort Animal, Wallet, Keys, and whatever else you carry. I highly recommend putting this on every jacket you make, even if you expect you're never going to use it. Admittedly, these tabs are generally made of just lining. A cylinder is made like a belt loop, and then that is just used. But in my mind, that cannot be durable, a durable enough method, so I prefer to use the combination. I thought I'd never need them, but these days I'm too lazy to be so pretentious to always keep my jacket on a coat hanger. It legitimately doesn't make a whole lot of difference, especially these days with much softer canvas in general. When I can't use a hanger at all, it's just better than putting it up hanging it over the collar, which is kind of what we're doing anyway, but make the tab right after you first cut the jacket and then put it on at the end and it'll be worthwhile. Plus, we can hold the jacket over our finger to carry it over our shoulder when it's hot out instead of putting it in a headlock over our arm. Finishing the prick stitching of each side, tacking and tying off the thread on the melter.